September 25th would mark the beginning of Ruby Cup submissions. Players would have until October 16th to set their best time on all five of the Ruby tracks. During one of the many snaking sessions on Mute City, Twist Road, JKT would make a monumental discovery that fundamentally changed how GX is played forever. JKT was quickly approaching the section of Twist Road that loops upwards over itself, which is known for making your ship lose a lot of speed. Even snaking would be greatly slowed down by sections such as this, but it was unclear why it worked this way. The fatigue and intensity of snaking was starting to take its toll on JKT, and this led to his GameCube controller falling from his hands. With the game no longer receiving inputs, something surprising happened. Fat Shark proceeded to glide up the slope with very little speed loss. In fact, it even gained speed. After some experimentation, JKT and his brother Tony determined that the accelerator was the sole factor that hindered machines on up slopes. Letting go of the acceleration seemed to bypass the speed loss that players were encountering. This was only the beginning. Letting go of the accelerator proved to be extremely beneficial for going fast in a number of scenarios. JKT would name this technique Momentum Throttle. In F-Zero GX, there is a hidden mechanic that will slow ships down if they are going above a certain speed threshold. The speed threshold differs for every ship, but for most top-tier machines, it is around the 1,200 to 1,400 kilometers an hour range, assuming it is using 100% settings. If the accelerator is on while driving above that speed, the ship will start to decelerate rapidly until you are back around the 1,100 km hour range. In many of these cases, simply turning the accelerator off will bypass this mechanic entirely. It seems like such an obvious oversight in hindsight, but letting go of the gas in a game like F-Zero is something players never think to do. The accelerator is what makes the ship move in the first place. It also must be on in order to use any function that isn't steering or strafing. A few days later, MT would assist the brothers in finding yet another essential technique. While JKT was still practicing on Twist World, he quickly turned his ship sideways and MT'd by letting go of the accelerator. While doing this, JKT also fully pressed the strafe trigger in the opposite direction. This combination allowed the strafing engine to pull the machine forward and reach very high speeds. JKT's brother Tony would go on to name the technique Momentum Turbo Slide, or MTS. This technique allows players to take corners at incredible speeds but it would prove to be very difficult to pull off. For one thing, initiating an MTS was only feasible if the player is already going at a high speed. On top of that, exiting an MTS would prove to be the most difficult part of the trick, as it usually cost all the speed gained and then some. The two brothers decided to withhold all knowledge about these discoveries until the Ruby Cup ranking period was finished. Even with the huge benefit of MT, they knew Japan would be tough to beat. <laughs>